Angry Athos, I wrote May 13th, 1969, and I had just left oh, Boston, and I'd been living down in New York, too, and Mayor Lindsay uh, had sent these cops into gay bars where they would imitate gay guys, and as soon as the guys went outside, they would bust them. Now, that was called entrapment, but it wasn't called entrapment then. So there were many things, you know, being thrown out of college, always having to hide who you were. It got me so damn angry that one night when I arrived in Los Angeles, California, it was the first night I arrived, I wrote Angry Athos, and it just came spewing forth. It just talked about everything that I was angry about, of not being able to hold my lover's hand. We're not child molesters, we're not this, you know, we're not that. And I just figured, well, the best way to put it sometimes was in a song, and this was prior, as you know, since it was May 13th, prior to the gay movement as we know it today, but it was in the air. I mean, what happened, uh, you know, in Stonewall on Christopher Street in the end of June, it was in the air, it was bound to happen. We were all getting very tired of being invisible and being losing our jobs, losing our schools, losing our parents. So did that kind of... Uh, That's a pretty good start. Where did you get the title for the song? All right, Athos is one of Sappho's lovers. And um, I had, of course, read Sappho, the lesbian poet. And originally I was going to call it Sappho's, you know, sadness or something. And I went, no, let me call it Angry Athos. And anyone who will know who Athos is, if they've read Sappho, they will know that Athos is one of her many lovers. So, and when you also look at the words, if you look at Angry Athos, which is spelled A-T-T-H-I-S, it also, if you separate the words out, it becomes Angry at This. So it was kind of a double, <laughs> I like words, so it was kind of a, a, a double meaning. I hate not being able to hold my lover's hand Sat on some dimly lit table Afraid of being who I am I hate to tell Stop me. 